Big Bang Model The prevailing Big Bang Model accounts for many of the experimental observations described above, such as the correlation of distance and redshift of galaxies, the universal ratio of hydrogen, helium atoms, and the ubiquitous isotropic microwave radiation background. As noted above, the redshift arises from the metric expansion of space. As the space itself expands, the wavelength of a photon traveling through space likewise increases, decreasing its energy. The longer a photon has been traveling, the more expansion it has undergone. Hence, older photons from more distant galaxies are the most redshifted. Determining the correlation between distance and redshift is an important problem in experimental physical cosmology. Other experimental observations can be explained by combining the overall expansion of space with nuclear and atomic physics. As the universe expands, the energy density of the electromagnetic radiation decreases more quickly than does that of matter, since the energy of a photon decreases with its wavelength. Thus, although the energy density of the universe is now dominated by matter, it was once dominated by radiation. As the universe expanded, its energy density decreased and it became cooler. As it did so, the elementary particles of matter could associate stably into even larger combinations. Thus, in the early part of the matter-dominated era, stable protons and neutrons formed, which then associated into atomic nuclei. At this stage, the matter in the universe was mainly a hot, dense plasma of negative electrons, neutral neutrinos, and positive nuclei. Nuclear reactions among the nuclei led to the present abundances of the lighter nuclei, particularly hydrogen, deuterium, and helium. Eventually, the electrons and nuclei combined to form stable atoms, which are transparent to most wavelengths of radiation. At this point, the radiation decoupled from the matter, forming the ubiquitous isotropic background of microwave radiation observed today. Other observations are not answered definitively by known physics. According to the prevailing theory, a slight imbalance of matter over antimatter was present in the universe's creation or developed very shortly thereafter, possibly due to the CP violation that has been observed by particle physics. Although the matter and antimatter mostly annihilated one another, producing photons, a small residue of matter survived, giving the present matter-dominated universe. Several lines of evidence also suggest that a rapid cosmic inflation of the universe occurred very early in its history, roughly 10 to the power of negative 35 seconds after its creation. Recent observations also suggest that the cosmological constant is not zero and that the net mass energy content of the universe is dominated by a dark energy and dark matter that have not been characterized scientifically. They differ in their gravitational effects. Dark matter gravitates as ordinary matter does and thus slows the expansion of the universe. By contrast, dark energy serves to accelerate the universe's expansion. Multiverse Theory 
Some speculative theories have proposed that this universe is but one of a set of disconnected universes collectively denoted as the multiverse, challenging or enhancing more limited definitions of the universe. Scientific multiverse theories are distinct from concepts such as alternate planes of consciousness and simulated reality, although the idea of a larger universe is not new. For example, Bishop Etienne Tempier of Paris ruled in 1277 that God could create as many universes as he saw fit, a question that was being hotly debated by the French theologians. Max Tegmark developed a four-part classification scheme for the different types of multiverses that scientists have suggested in various problem domains. An example of such a theory is the chaotic inflation model of the early universe. Another is the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics. Parallel worlds are generated in a manner similar to quantum superposition and decoherence, with all states of the wave function being realized in separate worlds. Effectively, the multiverse evolves as a universal wave function. If the Big Bang that created our multiverse created an ensemble of multiverses, the wave function of the ensemble would be entangled in this sense. The least controversial category of multiverse in Tegmark's scheme is Level 1, which describes distant space-time events, quote, in our own universe, end quote. If space is infinite, or sufficiently large and uniform, identical instances of the history of Earth's entire Hubble volume occur every so often simply by chance. Tickmark calculated our nearest so-called doppelganger is 10 to the power of 10 to the power of 115 meters away from us. In principle, it would be impossible to scientifically verify an identical Hubble volume. However, it does follow as a fairly straightforward consequence from otherwise unrelated scientific observations and theories. Tegmark suggests that statistical analysis exploiting the anthropic principle provides an opportunity to test multiverse theories in some cases. Generally, Science would consider a multiverse theory that posits neither a common point of causation nor the possibility of interaction between universes to be an ideal speculation. Universe Section 6 Shape of the Universe the shape or geometry of the universe includes both local geometry in the observable universe and global geometry, which we may or may not be able to measure. Shape can refer to curvature and topology. Cosmologists normally work with a given space-like slice of space-time called the co-moving coordinates. More formally, the subject in practice investigates which three-manifold corresponds to the spatial section in co-moving coordinates of the four-dimensional space-time of the universe. In terms of observation, the section of space-time that can be observed is the backward light cone, points within the cosmic light horizon given time to reach a given observer. If the observable universe is smaller than the entire universe, in some models it is many orders of magnitude smaller, one cannot determine the global structure by observation, but is limited to a small patch. 
the presently most popular shape of the universe, found to fit observational data according to cosmologists, is the infinite flat model. The data fit by these models of space especially include the Wilkinson Microwave Anisopatry Probe, or WMAP, maps of cosmic background radiation. NASA released the first WMAP cosmic background radiation data in February 2003. In 2009, the Planck Observatory was launched to observe the microwave background at higher resolution than WMAP, possibly providing more information on the shape of the universe. The data should be released in late 2012. We now come to the end of the last part of the spoken article, Universe. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 3.0 Unported License, available at http colon slash slash creativecommons.org slash licenses slash by hyphen sa slash 3.0.